Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Stephanie has got three and three quarters bags of soil to put in her garden. Each bag, so that gives us a clue, will offer 125 and three tenths square feet. So how many square feet will she be able to cover if she uses all of these bags? So we've got one, two, three, and uh, we'll kind of make that a little bit smaller. That's going to be my three quarters. And that's going to be 125.3, 125.3, 125 125.3, and then 3 quarters of 125.3. So you see we've got a few options here, right? I could just add these up if I wanted to. Uh, I'd have to figure out what 3 quarters of 125.3 is. So let me show you. You can do that. That's kind of the long way, but it would work. So also a slightly quicker way we'll do in just a moment, but I want you to see that there's multiple ways to solve this problem. Let's do the holes first. So that's going to be 0 0.9, 15, 7, all right, that's 3, 75.9. I've got to do this uh, 3 quarters times 125.3. So I'm going to make my 3 quarters 75.75. Remember when we multiply decimals, we just ignore the, the decimals to begin with. 15, it's 25, 26. We bring the decimals out later when we get into our actual answer. That's going to be 6. All right, and then 7 is 21. 35, 37. That's 14, 17. And that's going to be 8. All right, so let's make sure I know the difference there. 5, 7, 9, 3. And then 9, so I've got 1, 2, 3 digits behind the decimal in my factors, 1, 2, 3 digits behind the decimal in my product. So 3 quarters of 125.3 is going to be 93.975. And then let's go ahead and add our 375.9. Make sure we line everything up correctly because that's, it's got, we'll put some zeros there just to make it not look so bad. And we can go ahead and just add that up over here. So that's going to be 5, that's going to be 7, it's going to be 18, carry that 1, that's going to be 9. And then we're going to have a 16, and that's going to be 4. So we see 469 and 875 thousandths. We see that answer there at A. But let's go ahead and see what is a quicker way of doing that. Well, a quicker way of doing that would be just to take my 125.3, multiply it by 3, and let's call that 7,500s like we did earlier. Now, it, that is going to require you to do pretty big multiplication, but watch, we'll get there all in one big step. So that's going to be 15. That's going to be 25, 26. 5 and 2 is 10, add the 2 is 12. That's five, that's six. Definitely want to get rid of those. Add one zero. That's going to be 21, 35, 37. That's going to be 14, 17. And that's going to be seven, eight. Obviously, lining up everything is going to be extremely important. Let's get our last one down here. Three and three is nine. Three and five is 15. Three and two is six. Add the one is seven. And then I've got a three. So if we did this correctly, we're going to get 5, 7, 9 and 9 is 18. That 7 and 7 is 14, that's 19. That's going to be 8 and 8 is 16. That's going to be 469, and we got 1, 2, 3 digits behind the decimal. 1, 2, 3 digits behind the decimal. So either way we do it, the long way with my picture or just straight up multiplication. You see the biggest key we had to do here was to turn this 3 and 3 quarters into 3.75. So our answer here is going to be A, 